Hello everybody, Tzilla here, and today I just had a little weird idea for a video. I wanted to rank all of the monsters in Godzilla Final Wars. So in 2004, for Godzilla's 50th anniversary, we got the brand new movie Godzilla Final Wars where a ton of monsters showed up and almost all of them got some new redesigns. And well today, I just kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts on all the new designs and these iterations of the monsters. I'm basically looking at how well of a job they did of updating these classic monsters from the Showa era. Not all of these monsters are from the Showa era, but a good chunk of them are returning. And to break down how I'm going to use these tiers, S is going to be for perfect updates. These monsters have been perfectly updated. The suits are great. The designs are great. A are going to be for the really good ones. They're not perfect, but they're really solid, and I really like them. B is going to be for the good ones. They could use some improvements, but overall they're good. C will be kind of middle of the road. I got some complaints on these, but I don't hate them. I just don't like them or love them either. D is going to be for ones I think have some big problems or ones I'm not the biggest fan of. They could definitely use some improvement and there's a reason I'm not a big fan of them. And F is going to be for ones I just flat out hate. Let's get to it. Starting off with Final Wars Rodan, we actually are going to start off in the D tier. So, I have never been the biggest fan of this design. I just have always preferred the 56 Rodan or the Heisei Rodan. I like the scenes a lot with this Rodan, don't get me wrong, like him destroying New York and fighting Godzilla with the other monsters. That stuff is cool, but I just am not a big fan of the design, and I think the flying prop is just way too stiff in this movie. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put Rodan in the D tier. Moving on to Godzilla himself, I'm sorry his face got cut off in the picture, but um, Godzilla is going to be an S tier. I think this is a perfect Godzilla design. He's a lean, mean fighting machine and a perfect update for the 50th anniversary for the King of the Monsters. This Godzilla is truly the King of the Monsters. He fights everybody and beats everybody. He's awesome and honestly this is one of my favorite Godzilla designs. One of my favorite Godzillas even personality wise. I just love everything about how they portrayed this Godzilla. So easy S tier for me. Moving on to Final Wars Gigan, I like him, but I don't love him. He's he's okay. So I just I'm not the biggest fan of how they updated the scythe hands in this, and the color scheme is okay. So for Gigan in Final Wars, I like parts about him, but I don't like all of them. I like that he's got that chain hook or the like chains that shoot out of his. Uh, sides to like grab onto and pull monsters close to him. That's cool. I don't love the updated sides and like the new color scheme is okay. I do prefer the Showa Gigan, but it's fine. It's a good update of Gigan. It just kind of seems edgy, which I do like. It's just I wish they went a different way with it. It's edgy, but maybe not edgy enough for me. We'll get to modified Gigan later, but. It's fine. I don't love or hate it. We're going to put it right in C tier. So now we're on Fire Mothra, and that is the design given to Mothra when she is on fire in her fight against Gigan. Um, it looks really cool. It's on screen for a couple seconds, but knowing it's just the Tokyo SOS Mothra on fire, I mean... I'll give it an A tier. I, I have no complaints with it. It's just a really good Mothra design. Uh, I wish it was on screen a little more, but yeah. Ebra is obviously for me going in the S tier. Ebra is one of my favorite monsters and Godzilla Final Wars is a huge reason why. In the Showa series, Ebra was kind of just this little shrimp. Well, actually he was a big shrimp, but he didn't really make his name known like Mechagodzilla or Ghidorah. He was a much lesser monster. Then, in Godzilla Final Wars, they just, for some reason, really gave him a lot of screen time and time to shine, and I appreciate it. Well, he doesn't get a lot of time to fight Godzilla. His fight is more of a comedic scene, which I do also love. He gets to fight against the human characters, which is actually a really entertaining scene. I don't know why they went so crazy for the big shrimp, but I'm really thankful for it, and this is a 
wonderful update of an underappreciated monster. Manila. Well, this is my favorite Manila design. I don't... I'm not crazy about the design and stuff. I'm, I'm going to put it right at the top of C tier because it's fine. It works in some scenes. It looks a little goofy in others. I don't have any huge complaints about it, but I don't have a lot of things I really love about it. So, right in C tier for me. Now, Mothra in Final Wars is kind of weird. I think I'm going to put it right in A tier, but it is just the Tokyo SOS Mothra, which I think is like the best looking Mothra. Some of the scenes with her look a little weird, a little stiff sometimes, but it's she looks great in this movie for the most part. I'm going to put her right in A tier. The only reason they're not getting S tier is because they're not new updated designs really. It is a reused one. Even with Fire Mothra, I'm kind of just... We're just going to put them together in A tier. Moving on to Anguirus. I have never, 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 never really liked this design. I prefer the Showa Anguirus with that longer crocodile mouth and the fangs. Even the singular point Anguirus had that. This one's face seems kind of like squished. It's a lot shorter. And I don't know. It was just a really weird change. His eyes also look kind of funny, but... This is the only Anguirus to roll up in a ball on screen, which is, I wish every Anguirus did that. I think that's so cool. So because of those reasons, he's going to stay out of F tier, but he's going to go at the bottom of D tier for me. Modified Gigan is going to get an S tier from me. This is what I meant when I wanted a more edgy Gigan. Not only does Gigan got the cool black and red color scheme, instead of sides, he has two chainsaws on each hand. That... That is just so awesome. It's so cool to see him come back, rebuilt later in the movie with the updated armor on his neck and, like I said, the new weapons. This is just an awesome update of Gigan. It takes Gigan to the, like, next level, and it's a perfect monster for Godzilla Final Wars. It really fits the tone of that movie. So this hetero design is actually going to go in S tier right behind Ebera. I love this design for a couple reasons. I really like the smoke stack they give it and how it can like shoot out the smoke there. I think that's great. I really like how one of the arms has like a long whip like tendril thing on it. I think that's great and adds a little more like character to Hedera instead of not that he needed it, but it, it really helps set this design apart. And overall, it's just a great update of the Showa Hedera. And if you don't really believe me, I don't blame you because there's not a lot of screen time of him in Final Wars. There was a short film where they used this suit and he fought against the Godzilla Final Wars suit. And well, yeah, this design looks great. It's a perfect update of the classic Hedera, so easy S tier. Kaiser Ghidorah is going to be our first B tier. He's fine. I, I do like him, and I think he's a great, like, final boss for Godzilla Final Wars. However, I just don't like Kaiser Ghidorah as much as, like, King Ghidorah. So, he's gonna go in B tier for me. He's a great nightmarish monster. I just wish he was a little more flexible. I wish maybe the next moved a little bit more, bobbled around like Showa Ghidorah, but overall, he's gonna get B tier for me. King Caesar, I think I'm honestly going to put in the A tier. I think they did a great job updating him. He does look a little silly and a little goofy, but like in a good way. He's super expressive, which I like, and the suit has a ton of great mobility. Design-wise, I really like him. I don't really have too many complaints. However, I wish we could see him destroy more stuff. We only got like two shots of him during the monster destruction scenes so that's a little disappointing but hey you got more than hetera moving on to manda manda is gonna be right at the top of b tier they did a good job updating him however i'm somebody who prefers the destroy all monsters manda design more uh, i like this one more than the atragon design uh they kind of added like a little frilly almost as like a cobra hood he looks cool in this but it's not my favorite Manda. He's good. Not great. Could be better. We'll, we'll put him in B tier. Kamakaris is going to the top of A tier and is almost in S tier. They did such a good job with him in this movie. Kamakaris has such a simple design. He's just a giant praying mantis 
and in this movie he's portrayed fantastically. They give him the color changing ability, he's super fast, the sound design is impeccable. The only thing that holds him back for me is he's a little different from the Showa Kamakris. Instead of having like two different styled claws that are the same in this movie, I wish they kept them different just to keep Kamakris from being just a giant praying mantis, but overall it's a really good redesign. So top of A tier for Kamakris. Kumanga is gonna go right above Kamakris. They did a wonderful job updating Kumonga. While they didn't add anything necessarily to the design, it's just another giant spider. They did add the cool web that Kumonga shoots out and the jumping ability. So they did a good job with Kumonga. Giant spider looked good back then. Giant spider looks arguably better now. So good job. Monster X is going to be right in C tier. I don't care about him he's cool he looks like a power rangers villain and i don't mean that in a bad way he's he's cool his fight scene's fantastic but when it comes to godzilla final wars i care a lot more about the returning monsters than this new one like i said he's interesting he's got great scenes the fight is fantastic but design wise and character wise i just don't care too much about him and last but not least, we have Zilla. And Zilla is gonna go right there. I think they did a good job bringing Zilla back. I like that he's still CG. I like that he was scanned from a Trendmasters toy. But he's still just Zilla. The design isn't too different. They didn't update it that much. I'm really glad they do keep it in and portray him the way they do, but it's Zilla. It is what it is. And well, this is my Godzilla Final Wars Designs tier list. I guess I just kind of quick go over everyone right at the end here. And Gears, I just don't like what they did to my boys. Just too many changes. Rodan, I just think the other previous Rodan designs were a lot better. Monster X, just a new monster with a new design that I'm indifferent on. The new Gigan, kind of just same thing. I'm indifferent on him. He's fine. Manila is just fine this movie. It's cool that he's there, but, you know, it's cool. Zilla, great job keeping him CG. It's a good design, and <clears throat> I'm really happy he's in the movie. Kaiser Ghidorah, a good final boss for the movie. Not my favorite Ghidorah, but definitely a nightmarish one. Manda, it's great to see Manda back. Great to see him fighting the Atragon. They did a good job updating him, but it's not my favorite Manda. King Caesar is fast, emotive, expressive. He is great in this movie. I just wish we got more of him. Mothra and Fire Mothra kind of ripped from Tokyo SOS, but they looked great in there, and they are looking great here. Kamakuris, I wish they just changed the claws a little bit, but other than that, this is a wonderful update. The CG and Puppet on them are both a ton of fun to watch. Kumonga, like I said, Giant Spider looked good back then. Giant Spider still looks good, if not better now. They did a good job. Modified Gigan, the perfect edgy update for Gigan. I love him so much. Final Wars Hedera, the perfect edgy update for Hedera. I love him so much. Final Wars Ebera, the perfect edgy update for Ebera. I love him so much. Sorry, but like, honestly, they're all just like more spiky, more lean, more mean. Even the Final Wars Godzilla, these are all just the rawest, most intense versions of these monsters. And yes, Godzilla right at the top. Perfect Godzilla, perfect design. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.